Hello, this is my Amber Vistalite kit that I use uh, when I do the Zeppelin band uh, thing. Uh, this kit is a great kit. That is the 16 by 18. That is an actual, um, that is a legitimate uh, early mid 70s. Um, this is the 16 over there, which I just don't have set up. Uh, the bass drum is actually a uh, uh, a Fibes shell. There was a period of time when Ludwig stopped making the Vista lights. God, I think probably from like 80, maybe like 83, I think they stopped. I forget, maybe 83 or 84. And then, of course, they started making them again in, what was it, like 99 or 2001 or something. So it was a good 17 or 18 years without Vista light. Uh, my memory right off the bat, I have to check my facts. But uh, in any case, but this is, so that is a Fibes shell there was a period of time again when Ludwig stopped what guys what people used to do is they would go to fives or to Zicko's uh, I know for fives and and those guys still made the shells <clears throat> and they would just get the shells from them and you get them pretty relatively cheap and then of course you drill them out or you'd have them professionally drilled out for Ludwig hardware and hence there you go you'd have a, a Ludwig Ludwig Vista light um, so so whoever did this with this one you know did it they did a good job it was more or less professionally done um, you can see on this one, the, the original Amber Vistalite, just for those die-hard Ludwig people, the original Vistalites didn't have sparkle inlays. The original ones, well, as it pertains to the Amber, they had gold silk inlays. So all you Zeppelin people, I have the original gold silk inlays. And these are original. I got them from my main man. Uh, God, who did I get these from? I from Poot? I from Poot and Root? I got them from Tom. Anyway, God love them. Whoever it was, I love you. So here we go. So that's, anyway, so again, the two floor times are original 70s. The bass drum is probably from the mid 80s or, or, or redone, as is the rack tom, of course, which is six lug. As we all know, the original uh, Ludwig uh, 10 by 14s were six lug, not eight, which isn't the end of the world, but it does make the drum a teeny bit lighter, which, in my opinion, is always good. This is a rail console. Now, what I do, it's the. Uh, I always get, I sort of stocked up on them, the original Ludwig rail console. It's not the original original, not the Wahlberg and Ajay or whatever, but the original ones actually had removable screws. Um, so what I do is I get the originals. Of course, you get a kit with the, with the or you drill it if you want, but you get a kit with the drilled for a rail console, which otherwise looks identical to this. It's just that if you guys see on the late 50s, early 60s models, you see that these are, there's stove bolts in there that will screw this on. Well, I prefer that because what I do is I find the positioning that I like <clears throat> on the strap to the banana or handle or whatever the hell they call this thing, and I torque it on there, and I keep it there forever and ever and ever. And what I do is I just take this off and on every gig. You know what I mean? And I actually did approach, uh, his name rhymes with Bleave Flaxwell, and he and I briefly talked about this. Uh, he makes a really good Wahlberg and Ajay repro. Uh, his strap is perfect. His strap is like a clone of this that he puts on the Wahlberg, like the two-holer. But I told him, you know, he should, or somebody should make a four-holer, because God knows there's a lot of Ludwig kits that have these. Also, too, it would be very smart, in my opinion, to make these removable just like this. You can make it out of a high-grade steel. This is pretty high-grade. It's never stripped on me yet. But even if you wanted to, even if you didn't, you wouldn't have to use a screwdriver. You could even put... You know, wing screws if you wanted. If you didn't care really what it looked like, you could just, forgive me here, people. You know, you could just, you know, make have handles here. You could just torque them both in. Because it's sure a heck of a lot easier to take this off and put it in your cymbal bag than it is every time to fold it down or fold it this way, which is what people did for years. Um, I actually have a funny story about that. So anyway, this is, the, this is what I do, people. So if you ever see the original... Ludwig, uh, not the Wahlberg and the shape, but the original Ludwig made rails like this that have these. Get these. Because you can take them on and off. Now, they will come with a factory bolt on the bottom. Now, I just put this up. When I store this, I leave these here because I can just keep them in my bag then because I don't want to take the chance of taking these out and, put them in my, and have them get lost. So after every show, I remove it from the drum and I just take some regular bolts or nuts. Stick them on there so now they're just in there. Now, when you do get these, though, from the factory, though, the original ones, they will be, uh, th not only do those original screws here at the end of my ring finger, or my 
that finger. They do screw in there. That is threaded, but also, too, there would be a bolt under that, which I thought was sort of redundant. So, you know, you can use that if you want just to store these anywhere. So that's what I do. And this is in her 70s. I have a couple of 60s script logos floating around. But So that's what I do. I just take it off, and I put it right in my symbol bag. So hopefully believe Flax well and uh, Ludwig or somebody or Gibraltar or Flary Schwillaby is listening and they can just, you know, remake these because there's no reason why. You know, it's really cool with these because they're the ones that they remade with, um, you know, DW and Ludwig and everybody. You know, the, the, the rail is, it, it, you know, it's it's like the two-hole rail and it comes up about this high and then there's the big extendo thing and suddenly your rack time's like way up here. So anyway, I was really impressed with uh, Flea Flaxwell's uh, um, rails that he did, Wahlberg Jay, man, he's a stud. Those things are really rocking. I'd, I'd stock up on those. But anyway, yeah, I think you need a four-hole. Anyway, so that's the kit. So here's the, again, a repro bass drum with my uh, three, that, that's taped on. My original one I had painted on the other end, but that's a long story. So original floor toms, um, repro bass from repro rack. There's my, there's my 90s Keystone Supra with tone control. Um, in any case, though, again, gold silk inlays. I know the repros all have gold uh, sparkle because they did. As they, time went on, they did gold sparkles, apparently. But the original ones, folks, gold silk inlays. Uh, what else I want to say about this? Oh, the, my funny, well, I thought it was kind of funny. I had a story. Um, I used to collect drums quite a bit. That's how I, over the years, I got so much gear and so many cymbals, God knows. You know, when you buy all those kits, you want the snare drum, but you buy the whole kit, and suddenly you're getting seven cymbals and a whole kit and ten stands, and you sell everything off, and you do that a hundred or two hundred times, and suddenly you've had a lot of cymbals and drums. And Anyway, uh, I had a kit that I found up here. It was like a time capsule kit. It was, uh, it was sky blue. It was a 2012-14. It came with the rail. It was a collector down south. I used to sell stuff to before eBay and before the internet and everything. Anyway, so I packed it up and I, of course, folded the rail down as every good person who doesn't know any better did. Fold it down. Of course, the fellas, it, it rhymes with Poo BS. I love that company, by the way, but in any case, one of their uh, uh, Jolly Green Giants in the storeroom smashed the box. And, the, and this, you'll see, of course, the went right through the shell. Went right through. I actually had that drum up until a couple of years ago. And what's kind of funny about it, um, you know, of course, you don't do that now. UPS made good on it. I insured the, the box for $500 because the, the rack tom was in the base room. But what was kind of funny, I used to joke around with my friend uh, Bill, was his name, when I'd send him stuff. And on the on the UPS way bill, before computers, you had to write it out longhand. Of course, I wrote, I used to call myself the king of drums. It was kind of a, supposed to be funny, but sort of egotistical thing. Anyway. I wrote King, so on the from, like the insurance form and everything, I just, I didn't, you know, I used to just put that on there so I sort of like pleasantly annoy him or whatever, because he was certainly the king of drums down in Georgia. Anyway, <laughs> so I, of course, I filed a UPS claim, and when, you know, if the check comes to me from UPS, I don't know, like two weeks later, God love him real fast, and instead of saying King on it, which it shouldn't have anyway, it should have said Terry Keating, but I being the buffoon I was, wrote King on the way bill, <laughs> the check comes back and it says Kong. It says K-O-N-G in capital letters. So somebody with a great sense of humor at UPS put me in my place. So I had, <laughs> I had to send that back to UPS and get my Terry Keating check, which took another three weeks. Anyway, so this is the kit. So I'm going to make a video with this. Uh, but before I did, I just wanted to tell the specs about the kit. Because I, like a lot of the guys, I do have a kit that I do put, and this is it. Um, but I, I did want to point out the um, that I do this though. So what I what I will do is when you see the next video, I will have this just attached on there. I'll screw it right on. So that's my Amber Vista light kit. Again, it's the whole kit. Uh, there's a gong there, by the way, too. I'm selling this if anybody's local. Uh, this is a this is a 30 inch. This is a Ludwig gong, but this is I think from after uh, after Ludwig uh, didn't do Peist anymore. So you can see on there it says genuine Chinese Tam Tam by Ludwig. And it looks really peisty symphonic -y in certain ways. You know, you'll see the... It, it, it resembles kind of those clunkers you see around from days of yore that don't make any sound. Um, I, I, ha I saw one of these on eBay recently. It was a 26. It went for like three or 400 bucks. This is a 30. Um, and it was in not nearly as nice condition as this. Uh, but if somebody lives in Chicago, you can have it for, for 400 bucks with the stand. Anyway, I don't know if, if Ludwig, if it's, if, it's, if it's made by Peisty, but it's not a symphonic, if they switched it. Um, 
or if it was made by Zildjian, because by then they went to Zildjian. People will say, they'll say it is a Paiste, some people will, but I don't think it is. Um, but it is a great gong. It, it sounds really good. It fits the bill. Uh, yeah, you can see that it's, let me warm it up a little. proper mallet it really actually has, has a higher pitch and it's like whoosh. so in any case but there they are my ambers that I have had forever now but I just never made videos with so there they are hey alrighty